of four times. Go away. We don't want to be sold anything. Please, leave us in peace. I'm no salesman, can't you tell? Okay, quickly, come inside. Before you're seen, there will be questions. I'm sorry about that. It's a security measure. You want to get your things sorted soon. A long flight? Transcontinental. I see. Well, there won't be much time for rest. Now that you're here, things will start to get moving. Would you like some tea? Yes. Hello. Mum? Good. Hope it's not too late. Yeah, I'm here, in London. Strange stuff happening though. Look, there's a man, so, so I can't talk. I'll talk to you later, okay? Love you, Mum. Bye. Here you are. My superiors would not be happy in the slightest if you are not at least somewhat refreshed after your long trip. There's a lot of work to do. Superiors. Oh, don't worry. For now. Enjoy your tea. Radiation? Deadlock sealed. Very, very odd. Oh, hello. You must be. Uh... Yeah. Alien, stay where you are, do not move. Excellent. Uh, I seem to be having some trouble with my TARDIS. Do you think you. Don't would... make any sudden movements. Perform the check. Two heartbeats. That's a positive for the binary vascular system. That's the doctor, all right. There seems to have been some... Doctor, we're obliged to place you under arrest. It's protocol. Remain still and keep your hands where we can see them. Miss Atkins. Oh, glad to see you're settling in. Good flight. May I come in? Well, uh, I think you've just invited yourself in, and yes, my flight was tolerable. Ah, uh, supersonic transport unavailable. Apologies. We're activating the project. What? Now? But we're far too early. Hey, I've not even had a chance to unpack. Come along, Miss Atkins. I don't know what all the rush is about. I wasn't even expecting to be in London for another three months. The appointment has changed, Miss Atkins. Although, I really don't have to explain it to you. What appointment are you talking about? To see the doctor. Atkins, welcome to unit. Any developments since I've been gone? Is this unit? Are you sure? 
hidden in plain sight. None yet. Specimen still docile. It's contained as per your express instructions. And what about our prison... our very talented visitor from far, far away? Is he Australian too, this visitor? I heard something about a doctor, but I don't need a medical. He's in your office. Under armed guard, of course. Certainly anxious to meet you. I can imagine. Come along, Sergeant. It's a pleasure to finally meet you. Even like this. Sorry, miss. Oh? You can't go in there. Strictly forbidden. You have a lot of explaining to do, Brigadier. Captain. Well, maybe this might satisfy your curiosity. Your file is very impressive, Captain. But tell me, what is the point? What do you mean? The hyperwave beam was one thing. Do you want my attention? Well, yes, I. A unit did. Well, now you've got it, so please answer the question. Why am I here? I've got something to show you. Come and see, Doctor. I insist. Excuse me, miss. You can't go gallivanting, I'm afraid. Well, then tell Captain Reynolds I'm not a schoolgirl. Keep an eye on her. She likes to wander. Ah, Sergeant Turner. You met the Doctor? Uh, yes, uh, Sergeant Turner and I are well acquainted. Doctor, if you would like to come this way. Have we met? No, I don't believe we have. Is this the... The Doctor, yes. And you are? Jennifer Atkins. Nice to meet you. Doctor, if you'd like to come through... This surprise of yours had better be worth it. Come with me. It's worth we done. Impressive facility. It's a front, a fake company, one of several we have throughout the country. It's perfectly secure. Occupied? Only this one. Captain Reynolds? Are there any lights in here? No, it can't be. A Dalek? Almost as if it were. Remotely disabled? You're quite right, Doctor. Excuse me? It's not like a toy. You can't just pull the plug on it. Don't let the looks deceive you, Doctor. What you're looking at is a completely docile Dalek. I guarantee it. No such thing exists, Br Captain Reynolds. And yet here we are, Doctor. Looking at it.
What is that thing? It's called a Dalek. But surely you know what you're dealing with here. I know just as much as you do. I'm just talent from far away, according to Reynolds. A question then, Miss Atkins. Do you believe in aliens? Trick question? Uh, absolutely serious. Extraterrestrial life forms. Do you believe that they exist? Well, no. Not until about an hour ago. <laughs> Good answer. What you see here is called a Dalek. It's the most terrible thing ever invented. Invented? By who? It's a long story, none of it good. It carries the mutant remains of the Khaled race, a war machine uh, from the planet Skaro. It was invented by a mad scientist named Davros. You mean there's a thing in there? Alive? The polycarbide shell is just a means for it to travel, defend itself, and attack. How did it get here? Probably a remnant from the last time I worked with units in uh, the 1970s? Or was it 80s? That's unreal. Unreal it is. Desirable it is not. Now, Reynolds, I need some answers. Dal Lek. Hmm. Who's there? Don't mess around. Captain Reynolds? Doctor? Doctor Who, anyway? Hello? Is anyone trying to be funny? <laughs> That's not funny. Who's in there anyway? No, you're just a drone. Just a thing controlled by a guy. A human. Daleks are not slaves of humans. Daleks are the supreme beings. Oh, hail the Daleks. It's all linked. Just as I feared. It's not safe outside if the Daleks escaped. But that's impossible. It shouldn't have. I mean... It shouldn't have escaped, but it has. We activate the emergency protocol. You wouldn't listen, would you? Doctor, come quickly! Stand aside. Ow, my head. Stop that. You had a lucky escape. Don't ask me how I did it. Go and rest for a minute. You'll feel much better. Doctor, would you please explain yourself? I insist. Very well. The hyperwave network is re-energizing the Daleks' power banks. The more it trundles around, the less docile it's going to become. Already, you can't control it. I've read the file about the Daleks. They take no prisoners. That's an understatement. That's not possible. A Dalek that recharges itself through thin air? The slats in the Daleks' midsection. They act as receivers, soaking up energy from the hyperwave node. You have to be kidding. It's essentially a Wi-Fi powered Dalek. The same power that diverted the TARDIS is now recharging the Dalek. And that's just the start. So how do we stop it, Doctor? Good question, Sergeant. I need time. A distraction. Distraction affirmative. Continuing area scan. Proceeding to sector four. Sure, that's the only way, Doctor. Positively. 
We must reverse the polarity of the hyperwave system. It's our only chance. I'll be home, drawn and quarter for this, make no mistake. Your career, Captain Reynolds, is gloriously irrelevant. Stopping your men getting their insides scrambled is. Okay. What can I do to help? Let me into the hyperwave control and get that Dalek into the test room. That's where the signal is at its most potent. Very well, Doctor. Get the Dalek inside. Hey, you, Dalek! That's right. It's me. Not afraid. You're right, I don't. Ah, oh, wait. The last line of defense against a desperate Dalek. Go somewhere? Get back, it's following me. What's following you? The Dalek! Take cover! Take cover! Human targets are fired. Maximum extermination. What are you doing here? Where's Turner? Arranging reinforcements on my command. Contingency plan Delta. You'll need a lot more than your current garrison if my calculations are incorrect. I trust your little jaunt was successful. If all goes according to my plan, yes. Where's the Dalek? Last seen approaching the lower level. Containment is holding, Doctor. I hope so. That's the cortex, where the hyperwave signal is at its strongest. The TARDIS honed in on it. We've been waiting for orders. Here's some. Stay back. Whatever happens. Containment is holding, Doctor. It's time, I reckon. What are you doing in there? The final part of my plan requires the TARDIS's uh, expertise. What's all this for? You'll soon see. All part of my plan. Ah, actually, you can help. This is a Time Lord nanomatrix. I've arranged the chips in such a way that once attached to the Dalek's casing, it'll disable the shielding. Then... They're tiny. Time Lord science. They're bigger on the inside. Now, when the time is right, attach these. What will you do? There's a lot of energy around here. Once the Dalek shield is disabled, I'll reroute it through the cable loop. Like a surge protector, the unrestricted energy flow will overpower the Dalek system. Knock it out, then... Zap! Reynolds, what are you doing here? I said stay back! Doctor, be reasonable. This is a Dalek we're talking about. Enough! There isn't time for this ridiculous interrogation! So, what are your commands? Stay where you are. Do not move. Daleks will not be defeated. The Daleks are masters of Earth. Seems unlikely. I had my suspicions, but I'll stop you. The Doctor does not commit murder. You favor peace. It is your biological weakness. It will result in your extermination. Will I? I hadn't planned on that today. Have you, Jennifer? The stratagem proceeds. Today begins the Dalek invasion of Earth. Will you the Daleks? I... I don't understand. You can't invade Earth. You will appear in the Dalek stratagem. Earth defense is neutralized. Told you! It plain dead, Reynolds! All for this moment! Docile, indeed! It was a 
conception of Dalek design. The hyperwave system wasn't the blessing you thought it was. It's creating a temporal portal. Captain, we have to attack. Energy readings worldwide are converging on this location. Jennifer, are you all right? Yes. <gasps> Doctor, Captain Reynolds, he's alive! Doctor, I did what I could to save my men. You redeemed yourself. <sighs> Humans always do in the end, despite their mistakes. What a mess. I'm sorry you had to see that. Daleks bring their own brand of death with them wherever they go. Well this, it's, it's a lot to take in. We should uh, leave. This place will be sterilised. None of this will ever have existed. We can't just go. Why not? From here at least. Death will stalk this place. In a police public call box? Uh, it's called the TARDIS. It stands for Time in Relative Dimension in Space. It's mine to travel in through space and time. Space and time? You'll see, Jennifer Atkins. You have an inquiring mind. The old girl will surprise you. Ah, there's three rules to traveling in the TARDIS with me. Laugh hard, run fast, and be kind. Come on, no time to waste. I'm not going to be in any trouble, am I? Breaching the official secrets act, desertion, disappearing into thin air in a rickety blue box of all things? No. Well, maybe, but uh, try not to worry about it. But it'd spoil the fun. Hard to imagine how your outlook can change in the course of a day. Hmm. I was thinking a short hop at first. 2012, how does that sound? No, please. <laughs> I did have a serious suggestion. No, Daleks. I will try my best. <laughs> <laughs>